From CMC Media, this is The Crossroads. I'm Patrick Keegan. Well, recently ThoughtWorks Studios announced Go 2.1, the latest release of their Agile release management product. So today I'm talking with Jez Humble, build and release principal with ThoughtWorks and the author of Continuous Delivery. We're going to talk about this new release and some of the trends in continuous integration and release management. Well, welcome, Jez. Thanks very much. Good to be here today. So, Jez, first tell me a little bit about some of the trends in the market around continuous delivery that lead to the need for a tool like Go. Right. So, obviously, I've just come out with this book uh, with my co-author, Dave Farley, uh, called Continuous Delivery. And that book really is the culmination of a, a bunch of work we've been doing for our customers here at ThoughtWorks. And what we found consistently across all kinds of organizations um, of all kinds of sizes is that a lot of the pain of getting software delivered is in what's called the last mile. So that's the part from dev complete through to actually having software delivering value to users um, in production. And so I think a lot of people have uh, experienced uh, this problem. And, and what we saw when the book came out is that there was a, a really surprisingly great reception for it. And I think that just demonstrates the, the, the pain that we've been feeling over the years, the same pain that everyone has been feeling. And actually, with the advent of a bunch of new technologies, such as um, cloud and tools like uh, Chef and Puppet, that the, the tool market is maturing uh, in such a way as to alleviate some of the some of the problems that we've been experiencing in this area. And Go, our release management tool, is actually derived from our experience helping customers solve this last mile problem. All right, so tell me then, why would somebody use Go versus you know, one of the free uh, CI tools out there on the market? Yeah, I mean, that's a great question. Um, I think the, the CI tools that are out there are mainly developed by developers for developers, and they solve a very important problem, which is making sure that your software works um, every time someone commits a change to it. But as, as I say, and as I think everyone has discovered, that's just one part of the problem. And software that works on a dev machine or even on a CI box isn't necessarily software that you could release into production. So what Go is supposed to do is, is take that software and, and, and put it through the entire process of getting that software from check-in all the way to release. It might go through various manual testing stages, um, acceptance testing, performance testing, uh, deployments into various different integration or staging or uh, and even production environments. And Go is supposed to make that process uh, transparent, give teams control over deploying builds to the environments of their choice, um, and, and give everyone uh, who's involved in delivering software visibility and control over that delivery process. All right, so uh, we've seen a lot of news about Go 2.1. What's what's new in the release? Yeah, so th there's a couple of, uh, I mean, there's a, there's a whole bunch of features, but there's a couple of things that I wanted to focus on. One is uh, we now have the ability to create pipeline groups and delegate administration of those groups to different teams. So this is part of the vision of providing continuous integration and release management as a service within organizations. So you can have a central Go server uh, and that manages all the various CI and test environments. But then what you can do is delegate control of some of those environments to individual teams. So and say a team starts up or a team wants to um, create a new branch, they can actually do that themselves without ever talking to operations. But operations still maintains full control over those environments. And, and this is very useful in large or distributed organizations. Um, the other key feature that I wanted to talk about is uh, enhancements to our um, parallel test um, history stuff. So what you can do with Go, one of our unique features, is the ability to take a bunch of automated tests and just throw them at the grid. Uh, and what you can do now is you can get the results back and Go will automatically aggregate them and tell you exactly which tests are currently broken and furthermore who broke them and which check-in was responsible for that and the changes that were in that check-in. So it makes it really, really easy to take a huge suite of automated tests and get up to the minute information on what's broken right now and who is responsible for that. And there's a bunch of other stuff in there as well. If you go to community.thoughtworks.com, uh, click on Go, there's an announcement there with more details. Perfect. Yep. Yeah. That sounds great. I uh, can't wait to see it myself. So uh, what's coming up next? Uh, what's uh, down the pipe for you guys? Um, so we, uh, we've already started working on 2.2, which is due out um, kind of end of Q1, start of Q2 next year. Um, we are going to put Clicky Admin into the tool. One of the main complaints of people using the tool is having to futz with XML. Um, so what we're doing is we're giving you nice wizards and 
GUI tools so that you can control GOES configuration um, without having to touch XML. The XML will still be there, um, which is uh, you know a really good thing, and it will be versioned as well in the new version, so you can go back and see exactly what GOES configuration was at any point in time. Uh, and I think that's actually really great uh, for operations people. They, they love that because they can see exactly who is um, responsible for which changes. Um, the other thing that is coming out, um, we actually have in Go 2.1 uh, uh, a gadget, which you can, it's, a, it's an OAuth um, open social gadget that you can embed uh, in other tools like Mingle, our project management tool. And in Go 2.2, we'll have a tool um, that Mingle provides that can be embedded in Go, where you can see exactly what someone was working on between the last deployment and the current deployment. So it makes it very easy to get a bill of materials and to see what bugs were closed and what stories were finished and so forth. Mm. Well, that's great. Well, so uh, where do you see the, the whole uh, industry space around continuous integration and continuous delivery going uh, down the road as well? Well, I think what we're seeing in the market is um, the pace of change for businesses is accelerating. Um, and I think what we'll see is at the moment, continuous delivery, um, this ability to have production ready software and release on business time uh, is kind of a nice to have for a lot of organizations. There's some organizations for which it's, it's vitally important. I think over the next 10 years, what we're going to see is continuous delivery is going to become a business necessity. And organizations that aren't able to release software rapidly and reliably are going to start to find that they're being outgunned and outpaced by other organizations that do. So I think there's going to be a, a large shift in the industry, especially in larger organizations which have these very slow cycle times. They're going to have to up their game and, and work out how to do this for their strategic software services. Well, that's great. Well, uh, thanks for talking me, with me today. Uh, it's been a pleasure as always. Well, if you'd like more information about Go, just visit ThoughtWorksStudios.com. And this has been The Crossroads, and if you'd like to hear more interviews like this one, you can visit cmcrossroads.com.